Hello guys, welcome to my channel Learn Tech. This is Sandeep Kohl. I hope you all doing good. So today's video which I am going to take is on uh, BMC case management and today what we will see on this case management is how basically the assignments work in case management. So what we will see uh, that how where the uh, this uh, assignment for a particular uh, case we can define and how it works in case management. People who are not aware about the assignments, so you know, uh, let me give you a brief about it. In a BMC Remedy, there is a, a you know, a, a basic functionality which has been built where you can automatically assign a case to a support group based on certain conditions. So these conditions are like the company for which the case has to be raised, then uh, you have uh, you know operational categories based on which you can define a assignment then you have product categories and you have location so this is uh, you know in general in ITS somehow you define a uh, automated assignments then uh, we will do today we will see the same thing how it can be done in the case management in, in ITSM, like when you, whenever you are, uh, you know, about to, for example, raise a ticket. So in our case, it's case. So when you are about to raise a case, let me show you here. So when, when I'm about to raise a case, so I provide certain information to the case. For example, requester, company, summary. Then also I have options to add category, like, like this one, category one, two. Similarly, I have other options here, like department, assign group company but for the assignment what we do the automated assignments how it works so you we provide certain information on the top like requester summary then we define uh, category then we define other information and we do not provide this assigned group so this group is automatically select so what is the use of this and why we are doing it like this for example, whenever you are raising a case, so you define that case for certain issues, for certain requests, for certain departments. For example, if you have an issue with your payroll, so you will create a ticket where the category will be something related to payroll. For example, in this case, if I select here, so I have this, um, uh, I will have a, you know, option to select my uh, HR and then the payroll. So then, uh, I can, you know, I'm defining the category of the ticket. Now, uh, what the provision system gives us, it can help us in automatically assign this ticket to the payroll department. Other than that, like uh, if uh, we do not define these assignments, what will happen that the initially the ticket will go to service desk, then the service desk will decide, okay, this is a payroll ticket and then they will assign it to the payroll team. So in, in between, like it takes time and it uh, you know our ticket will take more time for the resolution so what we do basically with the automated assignments we avoid these bottlenecks like when the, the initially the ticket will go to service desk and then they will assign it so this is how uh, the automated assignments will help us in directly assigning our case to the respective team based on our categories so let's see how we define the automated assignments now for the case management uh, what we do here we are here you will um, will go to the settings of case management so here i will go so for example if you click here on this uh, my uh, application settings so it will take you to this so here in the setting uh, what we need to do where we need to go i am already logged in here so you have to come here in the case management system there we need to go to the assignments so once you are here then you can see here uh, the assignments which we have you know already auto assignments which we have been um, defined in the system you can access them here from here so what we will do, uh, do we will create one more um, you know assignment and see how it will work for the system now uh, to create a new assignment i have to click on this assignment configuration so it will open up a configuration form so i need to give it a name so i would say auto assignment given just a random name but in the actual scenarios you have to give the the actual name so uh, first we need to select the company so let me select this one so this is the company for which you are defining the 
auto assignments if you have if you want to define this as a global assignment if you select it global it will work for all the companies but by default um, we normally do not de define this globally we define it for a particular company so here i am selecting this company then now this is the section which uh, where you define the mapping criteria mapping criteria means the information which we are you know keying in the ticket so here we have to define the criteria based on which the system will decide to which the uh, to which support group the ticket should be assigned so here the first thing is category so let me select any category for example i would say accounts receivable and then in this i would say collection so if let's say this uh, category is selected then system will say okay this this is the category then if we define all these other uh, criteria for example as i have earlier also said that we have, we can define category location company uh, based on which the assignment can happen so here also you can define uh, location in the region priority also you can decide for the case and then similarly site you can also decide based on the site so what we will do currently is to keep it simple we'll only use the category part we'll not define this but uh, in the real scenario you can also define your uh, criteria as based on region based on site and based on the priority so then we will go down here so this is the section where you define to which group this ticket should be assigned if the above is selected then please assign the ticket to this group so let me select here financial support department i am not getting it's not mandatory if you have defined it it will come there otherwise it you can you will not get it there and then here i would say account receivable then you can also select assignee here but the normal practice is that we do not uh, select the assignee we select the group so it's a recommended practice the tickets will be assigned to the group so let me save this record okay now uh, we can see i have decided um, you know i have de defined a criteria we have already defined a criteria but let me verify if there is any because otherwise if it, there is any other criteria already defined then it will not work so as of now i cannot see any uh, criteria defined regarding this so let's go and test it okay so this is the case management here i would select first the requester so you can see requester's company here it is this company and it is the same one which we have defined for the uh, you know for the criteria so i would say issue with count receive or something like this okay then this is the category which we need to select so here i would say account receivable and then say collection so there is uh, i need to raise a issue which is for account receivable and collection category that means that it will definitely go to the accounts it should go to the account section so we have defined an automated workflow so we will see how whether it will work or not now if you go down here you can see here there is assign group also but Uh, as of now we will not select any assign group we will we will let uh, let the system decide what will be the assign group so let me save this ticket and once the ticket is saved so you can see here it has automatically selected this group as an assign group so this was done based on the configuration which we have added here in the system so based on this configuration that group was automatically decided so based on this configuration this our system automatically decided the ticket should go to this respective group so this is a way you can define your automated assignments and then they will automatically assign the ticket to the respective group based on these uh, categories location site for a case management okay So this is it from my side for this video. I hope you liked the video. It was just a simple video video for the auto assignments in case management. Normally we have this in ITSM but in case management how it works today we have seen it. So stay tuned to my channel I will be bringing more videos for case management and other BMC Helix products. Okay? Thank you.